One of the basic techniques in leatherworking is skiving. I've heard it pronounced skiving as well. I don't get too hung up on that particular which way is correct because it's basically describing the noise that a knife makes as it's doing the process of cutting through the leather. And really it's just a matter of taking a piece and thin it, thinning it down to where it tapers out or to where an edge thins down. It could even be taking a very large chunk of it and thinning it down like a splitter would do. And there's a lot of different tools that are used for this. There's some specialty tools that are made specifically for the job. Um, there's ones that are really good for doing edges. There's cheap ones with replaceable blades. There's more expensive ones. I don't really use too many of use these tools too often. Uh, there's a couple cases where it comes up, but I do most of mine with my round knife. And the reason I will usually use skiving is on a strap or something like this, if you're going to be laying it back and you want it to lay down nice and smooth and have a nice finish transition where there's no lump there that's going to rub against uh, either whoever or whatever the leather is against. Or you want the pieces to transition really well because you're going to be stitching it and you don't want there to be a piece of thread that goes over that edge that's just exposed and going to get worn. So it'll lay down nice and smooth. Um, like on this knife sheath here, where I skived it off uh, on the back side of this leather and now it tapers out. And there's no lump right there where those stitches are hanging over. Another use for it is when you're uh, glue splicing pieces of lace together. You can skive both pieces and glue them together and then you don't have a big thick lump right there or pieces that are sticking up on either side that are going to catch and you can actually splice a piece of lace and make a longer piece of lace out of it. I also use it with um, softer leathers like an upholstery type leather um, on making bags, purses, or even upholstery and I'm going to be rolling the edge or I'm going to be stitching it and folding it back and I don't want a big lump there, like you would have if you did not skive it. Because that will sometimes uh, print through. You can see it right there, as opposed to where it's been skived. And just as a quick example of this is how it's done, I usually when I'm skiving, I'll usually work on the, uh, the flesh side of the leather, not the grain side. Your grain side is still going to be your strength of the leather. And of course, it's your finished surface. And depending on the angle you hold the knife at, it's either going to just cut even or it's going to keep cutting down into the leather. So if you wanted to start way back here and you hold it low, you can keep cutting fairly straight. Like if you're going to try to um, do a belt blank or something and you just want to take out half the leather. But you can increase that angle just a little bit and it'll cut down in. And keep working over any of the high spots. And of course, this takes a very sharp knife to do. But then you can feather skive it out, and again, it'll taper out basically to nothing and lay nice and smooth. Again, no lumps or bumps there. So you can see the difference between this and that. I like it. It's a very useful, I use it all the time in almost every project. And I consider it to be one of the basic skills that a leather crafter needs to practice.
some of these other tools, like this one is used basically the same way the round knife is. It just doesn't have the points off to either side. It's got sort of a chisel grind to it. It's flat on the back and just ground on one side. So it's a little bit different to the angle you have to hold it at, depending on which way you've got it turned. But basically works the same way as the round knife. This is called a French edge skiver, and it's basically a wide edge beveler. And it's also really useful for going along an edge and taking off like a 45 degree angle along an edge. But it's not real good about working further back into the leather. Both of these use replaceable blades. This one does not have a blade in it. It would be right here and you would drag it along like this. This one's basically the same idea, only you hold it kind of at this angle and drag it along. And it just sort of scrapes away a little bit at a time. And the reason I don't use it very often is because it only really does scrape away a little bit at a time. And so you spend a lot of time sitting here peeling away at your leather. And I could have been done with this with a round knife by now. But it's cheap. It's fairly safe compared to a round knife. I mean, obviously there's still a cutting blade that cuts leather, so it can cut skin. And the blades are replaceable, so people don't have to worry about things like learning how to sharpen. Which, if you get a round knife, you have to learn how to sharpen it. That is a quick basics of skiving leather.